So over the past couple days, I've been working with Firebase and Expo to create a chat app. The only problem is that I've been having some issues in regards to the authentication flow within the app and getting all of that to sit right. So previously there was a certain way that you could do things, but it seems that with the introduction of Expo Router, there is a new way of doing things. So in this video, I'll go over that new way of doing things. So this is going to be more of a show and tell as I'm not gonna be doing any coding. But with that said, I'm gonna do a demonstration of the app just so that you can see what I'm talking about. So here, the user, they come to this screen, they can either log in or register. We'll choose login and then we'll log in with an existing user. And then they get taken to this screen, which is the home screen for users that are logged in. And then if the user were to shut down the app and then restart it, they would get taken back to this screen and they have the ability to sign out. And if they sign out, they get taken back to this landing screen or the login and register. So let's go over how we can do this. First off, I'm going to assume that you've already created your Expo project and you've already created your Firebase project. Now what you've got to do is configure this Metro config JS file and add this in. And then also in the layout file, you have to add in this initializing of the Firebase app, as well as um, initializing the auth, adding persistence with React Native async storage. Um, also a note on this, if you're getting that you can't import this from Firebase auth, you have to go into tsconfig.json and add in this following line, and that will clear things up for you. Then once you have all of that done, you can create three new screens all within the root of the app and those are going to be the landing screen the login screen and the register screen and then go back into layout and and for the options on these i just said that the landing screen should not have its header shown and then the login and register screens those should be modals. And now I'm gonna take you to these different screens, just see what they are doing. So for the landing screen, it's very simple. It's just got two buttons, one for logging in and one for registering. And then whenever your user clicks on a particular button, they'll get taken to the particular screen. So then we go into the login screen, for instance. So in the login screen, we'll be using the sign in with email and password function from Firebase auth, and then we'll pass in the user inputs as well as the auth object. And if it handles successfully and we create the user, we'll replace them to our main tabs or our home screen within the React Native project. And it's very similar process within register, uh, same, same exact concept. So now let's go into the meat and potatoes of how you do this and that will reside in the layout file. In this case, it's in the tabs folder, but it's gonna be in the main folder of your project or the folder containing all the screens for your main app. So the first thing you need to do is create some sort of stateful variable and then set it to true. And this is going to represent whether or not everything is initialized. And to start off, everything is not initialized, so that's why we're setting is loading to true. And then we create this condition where we say, if the variable is loading, then we'll just return some text. And in a real app, you'd probably want to display the, the splash screen or something similar, maybe an animation of the splash screen, something like that, just make it look professional. And above that, we'll use this on auth state change method, which will return a user or null. And before we even consider the user, we need to set is loading to false because it's done loading. And then if there is no user, we would have to replace what would be this screen with the landing screen. So they'll, they'll just get taken to the landing screen. And then that is pretty much it for that. So let's go through a demo of how this actually works. And I'll just do that by registering a new user. We get taken to this screen, we can reload it, and that black
black screen in between was the loading screen where we say loading here. And then we can do whatever signed in users do for your app. And then they can sign out and they'll get taken back to the screen with no opportunity to go to the home screen for logged in users. So that is how you do it. I hope that this helped and thank you for watching.